So let's talk about how to enter some of our selling expenses and selling fees that we pay from selling on Squarespace. So like I mentioned briefly earlier, if you sell on Squarespace, you are paying either a monthly or annual subscription cost for hosting your site on Squarespace. I don't have a specific spot on this spreadsheet for you to enter that. Um, that monthly or annual cost, you can put it as a custom expense if you'd like. You can just rename this row Squarespace subscription or expense or cost. And if you pay monthly, you could enter that here each month. If you pay annually, you might not want to dedicate an entire row for that expense since you're just paying once a year. You could enter it um, as an other expense on the others tab or something like that. And again, we'll cover how to use these tabs later on. But let's just pretend that we're paying annual uh, monthly, the monthly subscription fee for this. So let's talk about transaction fees from Squarespace. Remember, if you're using one of those personal or business um, website accounts, then you're going to be charged either 2% or 3% transaction fee per sale. Now these fees are going to come out of your Stripe or your PayPal account. Um, and what's confusing is that if you're using Stripe or PayPal in general, you're going to be charged a transaction fee from Stripe or PayPal. They already charge you basically a credit card processing fee. If you're using one of the lower tier Squarespace accounts, they're going to charge you a 2 or 3% transaction fee on top of the fees that Stripe or PayPal are already charging you. So if you've got one of these accounts, personal or business website, you can expect to find a 3% or a 2% transaction fee plus the credit card processing fee that Stripe or PayPal would already charge you. If you're using the online store account, basic or advanced, then you're, you can expect to see only the credit card processing fee that Stripe or PayPal normally charge you. So when you go to enter your Stripe and your PayPal fees here on the selling expenses of your spreadsheet, you might be dealing with different percentages based on what kind of Squarespace account you have. I have a really good link explaining um, Squarespace's transaction fees in the PDF instructions for the spreadsheet if you're confused and want to learn more about what you're really being charged. Since most Squarespace shops use PayPal and or Stripe as their payment processor, um, I'm going to cover how to find your PayPal and Stripe fees in this video tutorial so that you can easily access the amounts that you would need to manually enter on this green and orange row. All right, so let's talk about how to find your PayPal fees first. A couple of notes about PayPal. These directions are only going to apply if you're working with a business PayPal account. A business PayPal account is free and you can upgrade for no extra cost and you get the additional reporting capabilities of a business PayPal account. So from your PayPal account you would click reports and then you'd click on your monthly statement, navigate to whatever month you are dealing with, um, let's do December 2016 and you can download the PDF. It's going to look like this when it opens. And we are going to scroll down to page two of this report. And on page two, we can see our fees for the month. And I have $133.25 of PayPal fees for the month. So I would just check out this number, save this PDF for my records, and enter the $133.25 for my December orange PayPal fees. Keeping in mind that I don't need to enter any of my expenses with a negative sign or a minus sign. The spreadsheet knows that this is an expense and it's going to subtract it from your total sales. Something that's important to note about PayPal, it's a commonly used payment processor and you might be using it to sell on Squarespace 
and other places online or even in person with their PayPal card reader. So these fees that you're recording right here are your total PayPal fees for the month from any place or venue that you accepted PayPal. Um, it's not just necessarily your Squarespace PayPal related fees. So just keep that in mind if you're using this spreadsheet in conjunction with any other spreadsheet imports or tools. Uh, these PayPal fees are your entire PayPal fees for the month. Just another quick blurb while you're looking at this PayPal report from the month. You might be using your PayPal account to make some business purchases or pay expenses for other portions of your business. So if you do use your PayPal account to pay for other business related expenses, now is a good time to scroll through it and see if there's anything else you might need to enter into your spreadsheet. So what I like to do is scroll down to about page four of the PDF report and take a look through all these transactions. You might have um, some expenses on here, like here's one to print and mint, for example, that you might need to record um, in your spreadsheet. So I've got $14.15 to print and mint on December 5th. I would go ahead over here on the applicable tab. Let's say that's going to be materials. And you can date it. Enter the amount, enter the vendor. Um, I don't know what it was for. I'm going to enter a description and then the payment source I would put as my PayPal account. Um, and then if there's anything else you wanted to enter here, you could. Um, so this is basically how we enter an expense on the expense tabs, any of the expense category tabs. You've got the date, the amount, and the vendor at a minimum, and then you can enter the rest of this if you need to. And so now that $14.15 is going to travel over to my pink materials row for December on my monthly summary tab. So it's always a good idea to go through those PayPal reports and see if you've got any other expenses that you need to enter. If you buy shipping labels via PayPal, when you're looking at that report, you'll see transactions paid to the U.S. Postal Service in the description line, and you can record all of those on your yellow postage tab. So I don't use PayPal shipping right now, but if I did, I would just enter those here. Let's say I've got some for January. I paid $3.75 for a shipping label. That's how I might enter that here. And you could even enter multiple ones. So we can give you um, an example of how the spreadsheet adds this together. And so now when I look at January on my postage cost row, I'm going to see 750 for postage costs. So everything that you went on these tabs is basically going to sum up in the correct month and appear where it needs to appear on your expense section of the monthly summary tab. Now that we've covered PayPal, let's talk about how to find our Stripe fees. So you can log into your Stripe account if you accept payment with Stripe on Squarespace. Click Business Settings. Click Data, and then click the Download Report button next to Monthly Report. And then once it's downloaded on your computer, you can open that file. The only bad thing about exporting data from Stripe is that they just give you everything since you started using Stripe. They're going to break it out by month up here at the top. And then we can kind of find what we need. So what you're looking for here is going to be your monthly fees. So let's take a look at December 2016, which is what we're working with. We're going to look at this fees row right here. And this is the amount that I'm going to enter as my Stripe monthly fees for December, 179.34. Again, you don't need to enter it as a negative. 
Obviously, I'm using data from like lots of different sources right now because my Stripe and PayPal fees together are more than what I have for my total sales. Um, and that's just because I'm using my own data and other people's data, so it's not really making sense. But for purposes of showing you how to actually enter it, that's how you do it. You would want to save that Stripe spreadsheet file for your records to back up the fees amount that you just entered in the green row on your spreadsheet. And that's what you would do to enter your Stripe fees. Just like with PayPal, you might be using Stripe um, at other online sources, not just your Squarespace account. So keep in mind that the total fees that you enter here represent the fees that Stripe charged you for all sales across the board not just your Squarespace ones. And again, depending on what kind of Squarespace account you're using, these two fees that you've entered should also include the extra transaction fee that Stripe, that Squarespace is charging you if you have one of those lower tiered accounts. So you've now entered your PayPal processing fees and your Stripe processing fees into the Squarespace seller spreadsheet. These fees will include any transaction fees that you're charged for Squarespace account usage, depending on what kind of account you have. And all of the things that we just walked through right here can be entered the same way each month. So each month you're going to import in your Squarespace orders CSV file to total your sales, shipping, and refunds. And each month you then go in and enter your Stripe fees and your PayPal fees. After doing that, you'd want to go through your PayPal account or your business bank account or whatever you're using to buy things for your business to make any online purchases or supply purchases. And you'd want to enter those on the applicable tab here. Or you might need to rename some of the custom expense rows and enter them directly on your monthly summary spreadsheet. There's a lot more information on how to do this in the PDF instructions for your seller spreadsheet.